Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about the human body structure from science subject of class 6. Our body consists of several parts of organs and each organ has a job to do. For example, the heart pumps blood to all part of the body and the stomach helps to digest food. The organ in the body do not work alone. They work together with other organs and these organs working together form an organ system. So in another word, these organ system are made up of organs which are in turn made up of a group of tissue and the tissue are made up of a group of cells. So we can say that cells are the smallest unit that made up a living organism. Now, the different organ system that we are going to talk in this chapter are the digestive system, the skeletal system, the muscle system, the respiratory system, the nervous system, the circulatory system, and the excretory system. So the first one that we are going to talk about in this video is the digestive system. What happens to the food we eat? So for us to get all the nutrients and all the energy from the food that we eat, food must be digested. And what does it mean by this word digested? It means that food has to be broken down into very small and simple pieces. This is called digestion of food. Digestion of food is the breaking down of food into very small and simple pieces. The food is digested by a group of organs that form our digestive system. The food is first chewed well by our teeth in our mouth and the digestion starts here. The chew food is swallowed and it travels through the food pipe to our stomach. The stomach is a thick bag made up of muscles. Here the food is broken down into even smaller pieces and is mixed well with some digestive juices. The digested food is then sent to the small intestine and here it is further digested and the nutrients are absorbed into the blood. The food that cannot be digested reach the large intestine and in the large intestine water is absorbed and the waste is then thrown out of our body through the anus. So the digestive system is a system which consists of the mouth, food pipe, stomach, small intestine and large intestine. The skeletal system. All the bones in our body form a framework called the skeleton. Without the heart skeleton, our body will collapse. The skeleton gives the body its shape and strength and also protects the soft organs inside our body. Bones are hard and are of different shapes and size. The skeleton of an adult human is made up of 206 bones. Bones are hard and tough on the outside, but they are soft and spongy on the inside. The inside of a bone contains a jelly-like substance called the bone marrow, where blood cells are produced in our body. The different parts of the skeleton system are the skull, the vertebral column, the ribcage, the limb, and the joints. The skull. The bones in our head made up the skull and the skull is made up of 22 different bones fused together. The skull protects the brain and contains holes for eyes, nose, ears, and backbone. The vertebral column. The vertebral column, also called the spine or backbone, is made up of 33 small bones called vertebrae. Singular, it is called vertebra. Each vertebra has a hole in it to which the spinal cord passes the rib cage the ribs are thin bones that form a cage around the heart and lungs and thus protecting them from harm the human body has 12 pair of ribs out of this 10 pairs are attached to the backbone at the back and flat breast bone or sternum in the front the limbs of arms and legs the bone of the legs are attached to the hip bone and the bones of the arms are attached to the shoulder bone. The thigh bone or the femur is the longest bone of the body. The joints. The skeleton can bend and move because of the joints. Joints are the places where two bones are joined together. 
The bones and joints are held together by a strong stretchy bands called ligaments. There are different types of joints and they allow different types of movements. Some of them are hinge joints, the ball and socket joint, the pivot joint and the gliding joint. Muscular system. Muscles are highly elastic tissue. They are attached to the bone by tough tissue called tendons. So tendons attach muscle to bone and ligaments attach bone to another bone. The bones can move only when the muscles attached to them pull on them. Now there are three main types of muscles. First one is voluntary muscles, second involuntary muscles and the third one cardiac muscles. Voluntary muscles are muscles which are under our control. Examples, our muscles used to move our arms or legs. Involuntary muscles are muscles which are not under our control. Examples are muscles that are present in the stomach, intestine and so on. Cardiac muscles are muscles which are present in the heart and they are a special kind of involuntary muscles. In the next video, we are going to talk about respiratory system, the nervous system, the circulatory system and the excretory system. Until then, thank you.